Hey guys, Ken Muldoon here. What I'm going to do is a very quick video just to show you the camera of the Surface Pro 4. Uh, there we go. Hey! So I'll switch around briefly just to show you this. Here's the, the Microsoft page with all the, the stats and all the specifications on it. Now the front camera is a 5 megapixel front facing HD camera so that'll be 720p. The back one here with my finger is 8 megapixels. It's got auto focus and it's got 1080p HD video recording. It's got stereo microphones and stereo speakers and if I go around my messy office you can see the kind of quality you'll get. So this is an 8 megapixel camera, 1080p and I'll just switch it around for a second. So what you're hearing just now is this is what you would get. You know this is the microphone that I'm using just now to record is from the Surface Pro 4 as is the camera. Now the resolution may be a little bit different because I'm recording the screen so the resolution may be affected a little bit. But you can see here you push this button and it switches it around. There's some settings up here as well. You can set a photo timer and you can see some of the options up here. You can change what happens when you press and hold the camera button. You can make a photo burst, you can make it go to video, you can change the aspect ratio. 3, 2, 16, 9, 4, 3. You can put a different grid on, framing grid. Um, and down here, you can see the video recording options. Now I've got it says 1920 by 1080p. Now I think the screencaster that I use, I use Screencast-O-Matic. I believe that records in 30, uh, 30 frames per second anyway, so that's what you should be seeing. Um, but if I reduce that, I'm not sure you would see the difference in quality until you actually, you know, the video is actually recorded. You can see all the different resolutions that you can do using this camera app. You can reduce flicker, visual, video stabilization. That's useful if you're going to be walking around and you're going to be doing like a, what do you call it, a vlog style, you know? So if you're going to be doing a vlog style, walking about like this, then the anti, the stabilization option would be something that you should really consider. So this is just a very quick video. I just wanted to show you what is capable with the Surface Pro 4. I've recorded a few videos with this right away um, over the last week. And what I've found is that the camera is really good, much better than anything I've used in any of my computers. I've got a see here, I've got a 27 inch iMac. And this is the, in fact, I'll show you exactly what it is. Show you close up, we'll get you the back here. This camera here is the Logitech C um, 930E, I believe. Now that's 1080p. It's one of the best ones you can get before you get up to the the kind of conference calling ones. I've got you know the iMac camera behind it as well. Now I use that a lot for for Skype calls, for all these other different things. And I found the camera on this is better. The resolution resolution on the screen is fantastic for the you know with the Surface Pro 4, so that's excellent. So overall, I'm very very happy because I'm going to do lots of screencasts and tutorials and things like that. I'm going to be doing lots of Skype calls. And if I've if I've, I've ugh, can't even talk, if I'm out and about and I've not got my phone for any reason, then I can always use this to take pictures or take videos. But anyway, if you're interested in the Surface Pro 4 or any future versions, this hopefully will give you an idea of what quality you can expect. So, thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions about the camera, please let me know, I'll address them in the comment area below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please do consider liking the video, sharing the video, and subscribing to my channel. So, photo, video, there's a video being recorded. Boom. I've not actually checked any of these op options yet. I didn't re realize these were here. <laughs> so there's a lot of um, more video options there that I realized were there. And now it's recording. That's quite a nice addition. I've just got to stay in home mode anyway. So, that, um, so whenever I'm using the, um, the camera, it just defaults to the old setting. I'm, I've been quite happy with it. But it's just like anything else, if you get poor lighting, you know, the camera won't be good at night time. But apart from that, 
yeah, I'm sure you'll be happy with it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, take care.